What's up everybody, my name is Jacob Vingegaard and today I'm gonna teach you how to make the trendy glass morphism effect in Elementor. Now let's get to it. <laughs> So now we are inside the Elementor page builder and I've already created a section with a column inside it. In this case it's the column we want to target with our glass morphism effect. So the first thing we need to do is go up to the advanced tab and then down to the custom CSS. Inside the custom CSS field we will start by writing selector and then make an opening curl bracket and a closing curl bracket. And then we'll need to go to glassmorphism.com to get the custom CSS code. On glassmorphism.com we have a pre-built code generator and in here you can set your blur value, your transparency, your color and then your outline. But all you really have to do is go in here and press the copy CSS button and then go back to Elementor. When we are back in Elementor we will go down to the custom CSS field once again and then paste our copied CSS code from glassmorphism.com inside the curly brackets. And now you will see the glassmorphism effect appear on the column. Now you can go inside the box shadow and change the color right here in the CSS code. But what I like to do is to select everything, then delete it, and go up to the style menu, down to border, and select the box shadow from in here. And now you have a cool looking glass morphism effect right inside Elementor. And there you have it boys and girls, that's the top trendy glass morphism effect right in Elementor. If you like this tutorial, please consider to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.